Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix status access violation error with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam and then click on exit and then launch Steam. And then you can make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator and then you can check. Still not working, restart your computer once. Just restart your computer and then check. The next step is to delete DAISY folder in documents. So open file explorer, go to the go to documents folder. Now before you delete it, let me inform you all saved settings will be lost. So here you can see daisy folder. You can just make a right click and you can delete it. If you want to create a backup first, you can create a backup and then you can delete. Once deleted, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to play without mods. Now for this, you can launch the game. Now go to mods option and over here unload all and once you uncheck once you remove all the mods now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete you can launch the game and then check next step is to close OneDrive or Google Drive. So if you have OneDrive or Google Drive open over here, you can just close OneDrive and Google Drive and then you can check. Next step is to turn off or you can uninstall VPN. So if you're using VPN, you can turn it off or you can uninstall it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to create a backup for daisylauncher.exe.config file and then you can delete this file from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Here you can see daisylauncher.exe.config. You can just create a backup first, so you can copy this file. Now once you copy the file, you can just create a backup. So here I've created a backup. Once you have a backup, uh, you can just delete this file. And if you face any problem, you can put the file back. So delete it. And once this is deleted, now you can launch the game and then check still not working. In that case, after you delete it, if still not working, you can just go to properties once again, and then you can go to install files, verify integrative game files, and then check. Next step is to delete daisy launcher daisy folder from, from app data location. So now for this, you can open file explode and then go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now over here you can see daisy launcher. So whichever folder we say is daisy, just delete it. Make a right click and delete it. Now here you can see again daisy. If you, if you are using experimental launcher, you can delete this. And here you can see daisy experimental deleted find daisy folder this is important you have to delete this one delete it and then open battle i and here you can see daisy delete it now once this is deleted now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now after you do this still not working you can verify the game files once again Go to install files and then click on verify integrative game files. Once it is complete, now you can launch the game. Next step is to disable Steam Cloud. Now you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, and then over here, general tab. And if you see Steam Cloud over here, if this is on, you can turn it off. Now, once you turn it off, delete daisy folder in documents. So you can go to documents. And then over here, you will find the daisy folder, make a right click and then delete it. Once this is deleted, now you can launch the game. Launch the game. Once the game is up and running, you can always enable the Steam Cloud later on whenever you want. Next step is to disable Steam Cloud. Once again, delete daisy launcher daisy folder from this location. As I've shown you in this step, you have to delete these folders. So disable Steam Cloud delete this folder from this location all the daisy folder and then verify the game files and then you can turn on the steam cloud and then check next step is to 
delete daisy folder in your documents first of all go to documents here you can see daisy folder make a right click delete it all the saved settings will be lost once you delete it now find daisy experimental so in the search over here you can just search for daisy experimental and you can install it now once daisy experimental is installed you can launch the game so once daisy experimental is open now you can play the game so you can create character and then you can click on play so once uh, the game is up and running uh, just you can just close the game so you can just exit exit now and then you can exit once again and once game is closed now you can go to file explorer once again and then you can go to documents here you will see daisy experimental now you can just open this daisy experimental here you can see daisy experimental dot cfg you can make a right click and rename it as just remove the word and the, the letter exp experimental so it should be daisy dot cfg once you do this now go back and here you can see daisy experimental so make a right click also rename this folder as daisy so you can go just backspace and here you can just keep it daisy and then you can launch the game let me close this now you can go to daisy select daisy game and you can launch the game you can launch the game and then check now once you launch the game if you have any mods you can just uncheck mods and then you can launch the game and then you can check but uh, let me inform you that if there is any like if you see daisy experimental over here delete it just keep daisy you can delete daisy experimental and then you can check let me close the game for now now the next step is to uninstall battle eye and then restart your computer and then reinstall battle eye so you can uninstall and reinstall battle eye let me close the game so you can go to steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you will see battle i folder open this folder and here you can see uh, uninstall battle i so make a double click on uninstall battle i click on yes click on yes to allow click on ok once this is uninstalled you can first of all try to install battle i one from here click on yes and now you can launch the game and then check still not working then you can uninstall battle light click on yes click on yes click on ok and then restart your computer and after the system restart you can install battle light so make a double click over here click on yes to allow and now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can uninstall battle light click on yes yes ok and then you can go to steam and then launch the game now when you launch the game it will be it will prompt you to install battle eye so if you receive a prompt to install battle eye click on okay click on yes to allow and it will during the launch it will reinstall battle eye and then you can check Now still not working. The next step is to install Visual Studio 2013. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website here, you can see Visual Studio 2013. Click on download. And then you can download x64 or x86, whichever file you want. You can check what kind of system you have first. So you can download first x64. You download both x86 and x64. So click on download. And once the download is complete, click on this exe file, click on repair. If you see repair, if you see the install option, click on install and let it install. Close it, refresh the page once again. And then you can click on download once again. This time select x86, click on download and then run this exe file. 
now again if you see repair click on repair if you see install click on install and let the let it complete once done now you have to restart your computer restart is a must after the system restart launch the game next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can go to steam make a right in the game select manage click on browse local files run all the exe file as an administrator so you can just make a right click and then click on run as administrator if that does not work you can try this make a right click click on run as administrator make a right click click on run as administrator or you can do one thing you can just make a right click on the game exe file one by one go to properties and go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then do the same thing with all the exe file all the exe file run this as an administrator hit ok again properties you go to this tab and run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok do the same thing with all the exe file even the uninstaller now you can make a double click launch the game from here you can also do one thing more you can just make a right click on the game select properties and then you can go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program over here and then select windows 8 if that does not hit apply click on ok if that does not work you can select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok and then do the same thing with all the exe file all the exe file do the same thing and then you can check still not working you can uncheck all the boxes so when you put a check on all those all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes and then check you can even try this disable full screen optimization and then you can hit apply do the same thing with all the exe file so try run as administrator try this option try disable full full screen optimization try all these three hit apply click on ok with all the exe file launch the game and then check if that does not work in that case you can uncheck these boxes so if that is not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and do the same thing with all the exe file and then follow the next step now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings go to privacy and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it and then click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app now click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed if the game is installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder and then open steam apps folder and then open the common folder open the daisy folder select all the exe file and then click on open add an load app browse all apps select the second exe file click on open add an load app browse all apps select the third exe file open browse fourth one fifth one and now type in control panel and then open control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app click on browse and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select all the exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on browse select the second exe file click on open click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app and then select the exe file click on add and then again cl click on allow another app click on browse select the fourth one open add again click on allow another app click on browse select the last one open add so once you have added all the exe file over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can even try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to 
perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card make sure that you select uh, your graphic card over here so once you select your graphic card then select your operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find now once you click on find it will go to another page and over here you can see at the top geforce game data driver so the latest right now is 565.90 so you can click on view and then you can click on download now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select customer option over here then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let the installation complete once this is complete restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then you can select all the exe file from the game installation folder select all the exe file click on add again click on add desktop app select all the exe file uninstall is not required i think now once you add all the exe file now you can type in daisy and for all the exe file you can click on this down arrow and select high performance nvidia processor processor uh, nvidia graphic card high performance nvidia graphic card or amd graphic card if you have amd you will see your amd card over here for all the exe files select high performance again all perform high performance now you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok 
Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to update the system BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number, and then uh, once you select your model number, like if you have a Dell computer, go to Dell. If you have a Lenovo, go to Lenovo, and then select your model number and then install the BIOS. Now in case of laptop, before you update the system BIOS, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer. During the BIOS update, your system will restart. Do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS. After the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to Windows Update, Update and Security. Click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you will see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Do again, download x86 and x64. So click on it, and then you can run this exe file. Once the download is complete, also download this x64, x86. Run both the exe file, and then you have to restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected dongle connected disconnected if you have extra controller connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running close all the third party application disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and then turn off overlay over here enable the steam overlay while in it turn it off also, if you have any other overlay application, like if you have Discord running, you can turn off the overlay in Discord. You can go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. You can go to GeForce Experience. If you're using GeForce Experience, go to the settings and then click on turn off in-game overlay. So close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Also close all the overclocking application, like if you have MSI Afterburner running, Revert Unit running, or any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Also, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now you can skip this step if you are not able to launch the game, but if you are able to launch the game, you can switch to window mode and lower down graphics settings and then check. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So if nothing is working, you can make a right click on the game, select manage, now click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and then restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive to ex any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another hard drive and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.